At Caring Medical, we're one of the few clinics that actually uses direct bone marrow. It means that you take the bone marrow out and then you actually use that as the proliferant. And I think the best analogy is a fish tank. Uh, you know, you can only put so many fish in the tank, otherwise they'll get too crowded and fish will actually die. So the knee joint is a very limited space, the hip joint's a very limited space, it can only handle maybe, you know, eight cc's of fluid, you know, depending on how constricted the joint is. So you got to realize you can't put an unlimited amount of fluid inside the joints. And what matters most isn't you know, how many stem cells or progenitor cells that you put inside the joint, but actually how many survive. So by taking the bone marrow directly out of, say, the tibia or the pelvis and then injecting it into the knee joint, for instance, you know that it's completely healthy. You know, it's not centrifuged, you know, you're not growing any cells in a lab, so you know it's 100% healthy. And also you know that it has all the nutrition that the progenitor cells or stem cells need. So then you're actually putting that inside the knee joint or the hip joint. And if anybody has any concerns whether or not that works or not, just look at the study that we recently published. Think of this. We took 24 end-stage arthritic patients. 18 of them were told before they came to Caring Medical that they needed a surgical operation. 14 of them were told that they needed a hip replacement or a knee replacement, and the other four needed surgeries like ankle fusion and meniscus repair and stuff like that. So 18 out of the 24 were already to sign up for a surgery, and they decided to get direct bone marrow. Not only was it, no, not only did we show that it worked, but it worked spectacular. With exercise, when the clients were starting, they had a pain level on a scale of zero to 10, they had a pain level of six and a half. And by the time the, they got four direct bone marrow procedures, the pain level was less than uh, a 0 0.5, which basically means the pain was cured. At rest, the pain was 0 0.25. So it means of the 24 patients, only you know four of them basically had any pain at rest. Like all the rest of them at rest, they were completely cured when they started out with a pain level over four. I mean, as far as I know, that's the best results ever published on end-stage osteoarthritis anywhere in the world. So, and that's just with direct bone marrow. So, you know, I think the main reason we do it is because it works. It obviously keeps costs down. So, I mean, that's very good for the clients who come to Caring Medical. So, I feel really, really good about, you know, uh, using direct bone marrow as a proliferant. It's an ideal proliferant.